Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, dear viewers, uh, welcome to uh, Youth Hour today. Uh, today we will discuss about higher education, most important, important topic today. Uh, let me welcome our honorable guest today. Uh, first of all, Andy Walton he is a freelance journalist and writer, broad broadcaster as well. Most welcome to Youth Hour today. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It's good to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, then uh, I would like to welcome our most uh, honored and experienced guest uh, at Youth Hour, uh, Isakuddin. He is a chair of uh, Fathers Group, Stepney Fathers Group, Fathers Group. Most welcome today. Thank you for inviting me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi uh, Your viewers, uh, you can share your opinion. Uh, you can call us and uh, share your opinion. We can value your opinion. I will continue our uh, topic today, uh, higher education. Uh, again, I can say to you, most important topic today, we'll discuss all of things, how the student life is and how, uh, how we can be, uh, up, uh, upbringing our children, how we can go to the university and maintain yourself, lots, uh, lots of uh, things we can discuss about higher education because our most experienced uh, guest today, uh, Andy, uh, just tell yourself first. Yeah, well, so it seems a long time now since yeah. I was a student, but it's, uh, it's not that long ago, uh, actually. When I uh, finished school, I went on to do A-levels, and then after A-levels, I went on to university uh, in a city in the north of England called Lancaster, uh, and I studied history and politics there for three years. Um, and then I had a dream in my mind that I wanted to uh, be on the radio. That was my real uh, dream. As you can see, I'm not necessarily good looking enough for TV, <laughs> so I thought I would be on the radio. But I knew that to do that, I would have to be a journalist to study journalism. So after I'd finished my three years of history and politics, my undergraduate degree, I went on to study a master's degree uh, at another university uh, in another town called Preston, also in the north of England, uh, the University of Central Lancashire. And there I studied uh, broadcast journalism. So all in all, I was a student for four years, um, and it was some of the best times of my life some difficult times but some of the best times of my life yeah yeah okay how did you manage all of things uh, your uh, honors masters and you were now working how did you manage all of your lifestyle well i d i worked part time actually while i was a student so i had a job uh, there's a um, a shop that many of you will uh, will know, a well-known electronics uh, shop uh, called Curry's. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sell curry, it sells uh, electronics. <laughs> and, I'm uh, glad you mentioned. Yeah, it's just <laughs> important to, uh, to clarify. So I worked there um, on, uh, on a weekend uh, to help out with the, with the finances. When I studied, um, it didn't cost so much. The government had only just brought in uh, tuition fees, so it was only £1,000 per year. Uh, it had been free before that uh, here in the UK, but uh, it went up to £1,000 a year, so I paid £1,000 a year um, for, the, for the three years. It's now a lot more than that, unfortunately. Um, but I had a great time, and I found a good balance, I think, between doing some work, uh, you know, to pay for my studies. Also, doing my studies, the important yeah, bit, yeah. really. But then lots of other things as well. So I um, was involved in lots of different student clubs and societies, extra activities that I think now were really very much as much a part of my student experience as the yeah. degree was itself. Yeah. It expanded my mind. But I we met we new can, people. We can go back to, you know, a little bit, a little bit yeah. go, go back to your uh, A-level or GCSE. Mm, mm. What was uh, your enthusiasm to be, you know, at the part of the... To uh, carry on and, yeah. and become a student. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think from quite an early age, my uh, parents had encouraged me really to... Um, do whatever I felt was, was right for my okay. life. Um, and from a very young age, I had this dream about maybe being on the radio. Um, and so it seemed that the right path was to get, get some GCSEs mm -hmm. and then get some A-levels uh, and then go through to university. It's not going to be the case for everyone. Uh, lots of people have different dreams. That but they did you get pursue. help from your home? Like, you know, you wanted to become a DJ yeah. or something. Yeah. Did they go along with your dreams? They did, they did. And it was, you know, <laughs> we, um, we, we all have different experiences with our parents and our families, I think. But I was always very aware that my parents were supportive of that, that dream. And so from a young age, from about 13, uh, I went to, uh, we have a thing in the UK here called hospital radio. So if you're in the hospital, okay. the hospital will have its own radio station. Is it? So people <laughs> in the bed, they can listen and request mm. songs. So I went out to my local hospital in Bolton, which is another town in north of England where I grew up. Um, some people will know it watching and uh, I uh, yeah I used to help out there 
Um, and then when I got to university, there was a student radio station. Okay. So it meant that I could practice, and some students were listening, but they knew we weren't professional. We were just trying things out, and that was a really good experience okay. because what it meant was when I came to do radio professionally, I had many, many hours of experience of, um, you know, radio, as, but without so much pressure. Um, okay. And that was a lot of fun, yeah. 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 We'll talk about your higher education mm. and but your master's yeah, 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 master yeah. as well. Uh, let me welcome uh, another guest, you know, most experienced guest uh, in, in our uh, youth hour, uh, Ishak Bhai. Uh, what can I, I, say? I, do, I don't need to introduce uh, you to our guest <laughs> and then know you. So t t tell me something about you. Uh, myself? <laughs> <laughs> If Andy says he's not good looking for TV, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, um, when I came in this country, I was in the end of 1981. So I was about 10, 11 years old. So I couldn't speak English. That's one of and in the 80s, we had racism a lot in this country. Mm. I used to live in Stepney, so mm. I got beaten up so many times. Mm. <laughs> um, apart from that, those days, um, we didn't have lots of people, or we didn't have a model to see see they're unsuccessful mm. uh, uh, students and stuff. So it was quite a blocking age for us. So that's why we didn't do well those days. But now I'm glad my kids, I can, I can talk about this generation. My kids, mashallah, they're doing well. Uh, one of them is in university, he wants to be accountant. So, uh, my, my second boy is doing his A-levels. My younger is 13, he wants to become a boxer. <laughs> um, this generation doing very well. Um, I think Andy said one thing, I really, that's why I asked him, did you get help from his home? Mm -hmm. Did they support you with your views and yeah. things you want to do? This is very important, this is what we're lacking. I want to, if I say to my son, become a doctor, he doesn't want to be a doctor. Mm. He won't enjoy it, it's difficult for him. So f good thing for us, if we, is, and it so helps us as well, look at your kids, see what he likes and what he wants to do and help him on that side. But so statistics if said, you know, uh, uh, at the age of uh, 12, the most of some of the young guys, they are going to different way, drugs, alcohol, they are taking al alcohol, drugs. Th there is lots of problems because of uh, p uh, good parenting or lack, as a, as of, a lack, youth of, worker, lack, lack of parenting? What, what do you yes, think? Yes, a mix of everything. Yeah. As a youth worker, I can see, I, I live in, in Tower Hamlet, Tower Hamlet in, based in London, if anyone watching from around the world, from America or Bangladesh. <coughs> Tower Hamlet is it's a messy place for drugs and alcohol and some other, other stuff as well. And majorities are Muslims. So it's like all society, it will affect everybody. If you have a problem, it's going to affect everybody. Just like that, it's affected Muslims too. Um, are we doing well in parenting? This is something we have to learn. We have to admit, I've, I've grown up in Bangladesh. My parents, they looked after me different style, very strict. Very I think in Tawam, there the no, majority of Muslims. Um, okay, 50-50? Okay, 50-50, that's fine, okay. 50-50, um, okay, that's fine. <laughs> because probably the road I live in, probably <laughs> I'll see all the Muslims. Okay. There. Yeah, and uh, um, their style of parenting is quite different. But we learn this generation is quite different too. I run a, a, a father's group, which usually train them parents to become a good parents. When I done my training, I realized I wasn't doing really well. I was too friendly with my kids. There's no rules for them. Everything is fine. Everyone eat chips and throw it and do whatever you want to do. And they told me that's not good. You need to teach your kids rules. So when you teach them when they go out in the school, they will know what rules means. Mm. They respect you more. If they don't have no rules at home, outside it will be difficult for them. So I think we all have to learn how to, you know, because look, if I'm born in Bangladesh, my, I'm mentally quite different. I've uh, grown up in the village. I see their parents. They are successful. They are brilliant people in Bangladesh too. But it doesn't mean that thing will, uh, is going to work here. I don't think it's going to work here. Here, people are very freely. Very, they want freedom. They want to have their own choice. Mm. If you I'm need balance, there, I think. Don't you we? have to balance yeah. it. Balance between exactly. what you were talking about being very because supportive. We, we are living in mul well. multicultural yeah. society, so we have, we have to balance ourselves. Mm. Yeah. Another thing, you know, in Bangladesh, when we grow up, it's an amazing thing. I don't know if you've been there. Nick been One there. One day, inshallah. Nick been there. You know, we, if you're in a village, actually, whole f village is like a family. Yeah. You can't do anything wrong. If you do something, oh, my uncle's going to see it, or my niece's going to see it, or he's going to complain. So you're in a big mm. family, actually. Mm. Here is different. You are a very individual yeah. lifestyle here. So whatever you do in, in your house, no one knows about it. And no one even cares about it. You can do anything you want to do. No one's going to tell you, don't do that. There are a few people who will tell you. 
So here is a totally different lifestyle, and I think we have to adopt that. But yeah, I think we should be um, we should be cautious about some of the issues we've, that you've touched on there in terms of alcohol and drugs and, and, and so forth. But I don't think we should blow it out of all proportion. There's yeah. lots of good yeah. kids of here course, in Tower Hamlets exactly. and elsewhere. And, and I think there can be some nerves, particularly from Muslim uh, uh, kids who want to maybe go on to become students at that university maybe is too much like you described about how there's too much freedom and too much drinking and these kind of things. Of course, a lot of that um, goes on. And, um, but I think increasingly, uh, universities are aware that they need to um, provide social activities that don't involve drinking, as well as some for those who want to engage in that, but also spaces that are uh, helpful for everyone, really, yeah. where everyone can mix. Yeah. Wh what do you think? Why, why they are going to uh, other way? They're taking alcohol, they're, they're taking drugs. Wh why they are going? Because of lack of parenting or uh, lack of government responsibility? Wh what do, wh you know, what in uh, Tower Hamlet, we used to have lots of youth clubs before. We don't have them anymore. Mm. There's no space for youth club anymore. There's hardly, you know, you'll find a proper youth club are running. Mm. I'm talking about stepping, that's where I live. I could talk mm. about that. Also, you know, like uh, young people, when they stay with their friends, if the majority of them are bad, they think everybody's bad. Mm. You know, usually people are really good, actually. You know, you, even in stepping, you can find lovely, lovely people. But because of the, your environment, you're staying with your friend, they think, oh, if everyone's having smokes, I want to have one. See, this is why, you know, because the young kids, they're not in, they, don't, they haven't seen their uh, life outside. You know, so that's very important for if we, if we all help, the parents and the, and, the, and the older ones, and if you can guide them. Mm. Look, life is rosy if you only look for roses. Mm. If you're going for bad and gangs and crimes, you're going to end up really, you know, somewhere you don't want to be. Now we can talk about important things. You know, uh, did you get the EMA, you know, when you studied? Uh, I, no, I actually studied before the EMA okay. came in, but okay. I know friends uh, who did benefit from that, which was a, a payment to go to, okay. to you, help you, out you, with sixth You've seen the benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I uh, think my kids had that too. Mm. Okay. And they, they, it was really good for them, mm. and they thought they got something there. Yeah, helped uh, out with the studies, with the books, with yeah. the equipment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that's that's But gone at, at the well. moment, they, they stopped it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So wh what is the consequence behind that? Well, I, I, I think the, the, the problem is that there are many people who didn't need the EMA. The parents could provide, um, but there were many people not who did many, rely. Not many people. Well, some, no, some, some people. Them, and yes, there are many yeah. people who did rely yeah. on it. And what it did is it equalized those people. So the people yeah. who could afford to exactly. go to uh, school and have all the equipment and the clothing and whatever they needed were level with the people who couldn't. The problem with taking it away is that it becomes like education. The risk is that education becomes something exclusive that only certain people can afford mm -hmm. to do. And really, w the dream is that everyone who wants to be able to pursue uh, an ed education through A-levels and through to university and maybe even beyond should be able to without worrying about money that would be the dream unfortunately that's not the case at the moment i don't i don't think how do you think tower hamlets i mean tower hamlets they, they is continue continue uh, doing the ema now uh, maybe mea mm. oh. people are struggling in tower hamlet because tower hamlet um it's quite a poor area mm. it's known to people but how they can survive to uh, bring up uh, ema and uh, education uh, mea what you call you know that's why people they, you have a choice if you if you if you choose a government of uh, uh, really rich people, they will have a, they're having their say. If you choose a party like Labour Party or others, I don't support any of them. I do my work with that. <laughs> no, so you know, like you have a choice. People choose the government. You have to go along with it. You know. So uh, next time around, you can choose the right government for you. It's affecting people because, like the fee, uh, if you go to uh, university, nine thousand pounds is a lot of money. Yeah. You know, you come out with their head saying, oh, I have to pay this much money, and how could you do that? This is affecting lots of young people, too. Even, even my boy, you know, he's 19, he's just gone about a week now. He said, is it worth it going? When I come out, I'll have 18, 20, 30,000 pounds in my head. I have to pay them back. Mm. Why don't I just get a job? I said, no, 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 whatever you do without any, you know, proper education. You, it's not easy to find the right job. Well, yeah. how, how did you manage your you know, loans? Mm. Have you got the loans? I, st <laughs> still, <laughs> okay. I still have my, my, my student <laughs> yeah, debt. Yeah, I still haven't okay. paid it all off. That was, as I say, when it was, fees were lower. Yeah, um, it's difficult. I think there's, there's a lot in what, what you've said, Shaq, about the, the 
people being potentially put off in their minds thinking, can I afford this debt to be mounting up? I think that's a dangerous way to think because if you need to go to university, if you dream to go to university, if you want to do a job that really needs you to go to university, then hopefully that won't stand in the way because, of course, um, if you've been to university, then the job that you can get afterwards will pay more, yeah. potentially, so you will be able to pay that off. But it's not easy. I sit here uh, 12 years after graduating, well, okay. uh, 11 years after finishing my, my master's, and I still haven't paid off my student oh, loan no, and now there's no yeah. sign of, in the future of me doing that Th that is a that is a problem Wh what yeah. do you think because of fees or loans there most of the you know young people the upbringing people they are not going to uh, interest to go well, to that, university that was the worry um, the statistics show that more young people still are going to university which I'm very thankful for because I would have hated anyone to be put off because as I say it was a great experience for me and not just the studies, the studies were great but yeah. the whole thing around it as I say I was a member of lots of different societies and, and wonderful uh, ways that I, that I learned outside my official studies. Um, I would say to anyone watching if you're considering getting an education then go for it, go for it. But also, university isn't for everyone, so don't be pushed into doing it because we need all kinds of people uh, educated in different ways, practical skills, uh, trades, I'm thinking about people who need to do plumbing and people who need building skills. We have such a housing shortage yeah. in this country, yeah. in East London particularly, we need people who can build houses and so we need all different kinds of skills, I think. Start with my house, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that's one side of yeah. it. I think the positive side of the Tower Hamlet is the uh, last fi few years, probably mm. five years, probably. Yeah, yeah. Kids are doing really well. The schools are really improving. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're doing really well, like yeah. Johnny Cash, you say, mm. Stepney, and yeah. St. Paul's. I used to go to St. Paul's by mm. myself. Mm. They're doing very well. Lots of kids are going to universities as well. Mm. But you know, the ones who want, doesn't want to go there, find the school, say, oh, I can't do that. That's mm. what they're the lazy ones, they want mm. to do it. But yes, that's like uh, Andy said. Andy, I was going to ask you, if you don't mind, yeah. um, you used to be a, a member of a student. Uh, um, club or mm, yeah how did they help you that's amazing to know because some people are isolated themselves they're not yeah. going into this kind of stuff but mm. those things can help you a lot if you go to university and college if you could yeah that's a really that's a really good point i did so many uh, interesting things as i say i was on the student radio which was uh, a lot of fun and also helped me practically with with skills um i was involved in various committees organizing things so i learned skills about sort of organization and budgeting and that kind of thing um, uh, I uh, was involved because I'm, I'm a Christian, that's how we know each other from uh, groups where uh, mosques and churches work together on issues. Um, I was involved in the Christian Union, so it helped me to develop my spiritual life as well. And I know that almost all the universities, I think, in the UK have Islamic societies as well, um, where people can learn more about their faith, and certainly Christians um, can, can, can do that. Um, and I joined a local church where I was as well, so I experienced a different kind of mm. church from the one I was used to. Um, so in many, many different ways. And, and I also met different people. So even though I grew up in Bolton, which was a very diverse place, lots of Muslim people, lots of Hindu people, lots of Christians as well as atheists. So I did grow up in a diverse place, but I met people from different parts of the world when I went to university. And that was another way in which I, my mind was expanded outside of just the studies. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It's very good. Because the diverse, the diverse community, and if we if we, we work each other, the community going to be healthy. Definitely, yeah. I think you know, like for our youngsters, if you think of staying on your own, going to school or university mm. or the college, you won't enjoy it because you are isolated yourself. If you're in a, any kind of group, well, it's so most of the people are thinking like you, they could help you hand mm. and you learn it, and you find, you know, there's fun there. You know, I think this is what they should go for as well. I think Andy uh, did talk about the parenting it was important. So, uh, in your life, how was the important parenting, you know, the, your, your, your parents helped help you to go forward yeah. in your life? Yeah, I'll tell you a funny <laughs> story about that. Actually, <laughs> my, um, my mum uh, studied at Manchester University, okay. and my dad studied at Lancaster University, and completely uh, disregarding that, my sister ended up at Manchester University, where my mum had gone, and I ended up at <laughs> Lancaster University, where my dad had gone. It was just <laughs> coincidence, yeah. but anyway. Um, uh, well, I think we we set a very good example. We set a very good example by our parents because in this um, generation, lots of people go to university, but previously, not many people did, as you as you mentioned before. So, um, my mum and dad were both the first people in their families to go to university. Okay, my mum yeah. went straight after school, but my dad went later on actually. So he um, didn't do that well at school. 
um, and he w went and got various jobs first and then when he was in, in his mid to late 20s he went to university then um, despite the fact he hadn't done very well in his exams he worked very hard and managed to get to university so really they provided um, an inspiration for me exactly and so when it came time for me to look around universities and see maybe if I wanted to do it my dad said well I will take you I'll, I'll yeah. show you around I can show you the ropes show you what it's mm -hmm. about and in that way they Made it uh, easy yeah, for me. Yeah, another inspiration for that's you. A, that's an amazing yeah. way to do it, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Mm. One of my friends actually told me, when my kids were young, said, what you do is take your kids around the big, big, big universities yeah. or college. They can get inspired, yeah. Without telling them, they will feel, oh, yeah. I want to be there, I want like that. You know, that's very important too. Yeah. Also, in that time, if you spend your time with your kids, the bonding is really mm. strong. Sometimes if you tell them off, I said, do that, go there. It's not going to help. Yeah. Just like no, you're bullying right. them, you know, no. they don't want to be there. If you can show them with your hand and play around with it. Mm. Yes. I, I think an example, show them an example. So was like I say, um, dad didn't sit me down and give me a big lecture about <laughs> you must go to university. He said, come see my university. And they're all public buildings yeah. as well. That's the thing. Yeah. So right here in East London, I mean, we're just a stone's throw away from the University of East London here. Yeah. We live very close by to Queen Mary University, yeah, don't exactly. we? These are public spaces. So parents, if there are any parents watching, you can yeah. take your kids into these places and say, hey, this could be you one day. Yeah. Amazing. Just the, the inspiration for mm. kids. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Anything, anything else you can uh, add uh, apart from other other side for parenting? Parenting, I, I can talk all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> parenting, I can talk all day. Because this, um, this is the beginning for any any child or any student. You know, if, if, if your uh, family is healthy, he can he or she can go far and far. Definitely. Like uh, definitely. the example, uh, Andy. Andy, live here. And look, he's appreciating, he's talking yeah. about his parents yeah. with respect and with his exactly. passion. You could see that. If they didn't help him that, you know, hand mm. in hand, he wouldn't use that. He mm. would say, oh, um, I don't know, I've done it myself. Mm. You know, I'm glad you used that, you know. You know, I've got to uh, give this to you, mum and dad. <laughs> 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 if they're watching. Okay. I think you're printing off now one of the skills is, um, think over yourself. What would you do if you were a student? What were you looking for? So your, if your kid is about 16 or 17, it's the same no, a friend of mine, mm. they want a space, mm. they want their own room. It's very important to give them a space, a room, their privacy, mm. and the things they need, their clothes. You have to look after them. Don't just think it's going to work like that. You look after them, they'll look after you when, you, when you're old as well. But what I see is differences, like myself, I can't help my kids because I haven't gone to university. He's going, I can't deal with that. My kids are doing a I can't deal with that. So what do you do? You try to get the people who can help them. Mm. Either you get good friends for mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. or parents who can help them. Yeah. That's we very important. We can talk about more, because we are the uh, uh, 11th hour now, okay. because, because of this segment. I can, go, I can uh, give, it, give it to the Andy, uh, just for one minute. Mm. Uh, say something about uh, to, to our youth, uh, especially yeah. who are going to university. F from you, yes, yeah, inspirational words. Yeah, well, I would just say enjoy it. Grab it with both hands if you can, if you get that opportunity. Uh, even if your parents haven't um, given you that uh, that look around, go and take yourself around a university campus. Have a look. See if you might be, be up for it. And I do think there is a role for the whole community. What we talked about here, the um, sometimes the, the, the old boys network that we talked about, <laughs> maybe you touched on before with the government and others, people help each other out from business, uh, education, all these different areas, we need to do the same. So in mm. our communities, I, you know, I would talk about, say, my church, and I think it's the same in the, in the mosque. Uh, you will know many people who work in different kinds of jobs um, who can help with different yeah. studies, who can show an example. Oh, you want to be an accountant? Well, I know someone down in the mosque who's an accountant. Yeah. Why don't you I set up a conversation with them, and they can tell you about how they did that. Um, and let's be positive, and, and let's try and enjoy it. It's hard work, but it's worth it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you uh, be with us. Uh, dear viewers, uh, we have a fantastic guest. Uh, I hope uh, he will come another day. Yeah? Inshallah. Uh, uh, keep watching. Uh, we'll go to short break and after short break, uh, Andy will leave. Another guest will come. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.